Okay, so um, right now there's been some delays in my return to YouTube, but not really delays. I said April, and it's still just the beginning of March, so things are basically on track. But um, yeah, right now you're looking at the wall. You can't really make it out, but uh, there's actually a red light on the left and a green light on the right, like Christmas lights. So together they make like this sort of orange glow. This is sort of cool. But I'm, yeah, I'm just experimenting in that case. Um, it's in a way a race of electricity. They use more light than two fluorescent lights, and the two fluorescent lights give a much brighter light. But I didn't really want a bright light. I wanted a dimmer light, a gentler light right now. Anyhow, I'm only recording this at like 4.3, 4.2 frames per second. And um, that's because I'm still using it with the old crappy webcam. I'm getting a new one, but um, it's going to cost about $150. That's Barbados money, which translates to about 75 US or about um, 50 Canadian, I guess. So um, that may not seem like a lot of money to you all. But um, in terms of the money I'm getting from direct work, things have been sort of slow. So um, I haven't been able to do that much work because I've been uh, busy with family issues and living quarters issues and um, my own actual sickness then. So I'm only, you could probably still hear a cold in my voice. So I'm still resting up from that. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't really been playing anything. So I haven't even been recording videos, but I have a lot of videos already recorded that I just haven't transcoded and broken into pieces so that they could fit onto YouTube and stuff like that. Plus I want to go back and do voiceovers for some of them. And I'll need a mixer for that. A mixer is, I don't know how much, it depends on the brand and the quality. I don't necessarily need a professional mixer, but on the other hand I want one which will work well. Um, last time I checked out the mixer and my combo, it was $500 local currency, which is about 250 US or about 200 Canadian. Um, so uh, they're the cheaper products, but they're not necessarily worth the money. I mean, they may be so cheap that they fall apart or they have a lot of noise. If they have even the slightest bit of noise, then it doesn't make sense me getting them. On the other hand, if you're really not looking for like durability because like DJ mixers have to be able to take a DJ slam in them basically but if you're going to be in a studio then you can basically have something that isn't as durable you know that's a little more not really flimsy but maybe you don't really have to fortify it that much against like excessive force basically I guess that's the basic idea behind it and also you don't need maybe necessarily a warranty if you're planning to upgrade in a year or two anyway um, the other thing is cash flow in terms of like okay making videos for YouTube that helps YouTube make money but it doesn't help me make money so I'm going to be starting my own website with my cousins and stuff um, so stay tuned I'll announce it when it's up and um, a lot of people like to start websites and say coming soon I'm not going to do that I'm going to put it up get it to the point where you can make money and then I'll announce it um, because I'm not trying to impress anybody I don't want to show off my elite web making skills. I'm going to have a very basic page. It's going to do what it plans to do. It's going to basically give you um, live videos or video clips. You can download or stream and to download will actually be cheaper than streaming. Um, which is sort of like the opposite of what people do nowadays but that's because they're trying to control your habits. Downloading and streaming costs the same amount in terms of bandwidth. So it makes more sense for me to let you download a video clip and then you either upload it somewhere else and waste somebody else's bandwidth or you burn it on a DVD or whatever you want to do with it. You watch it over a thousand times offline. I don't really care how much you watch it. Once you pay for it, it's yours. That's my philosophy. You can mix it up, whatever. You know, I don't follow this copyright foolishness that once you made something, nobody else can do anything with it or else the wrath of the law will descend upon them. To me, that's bullshit. Um, a lot of people like those type of rules and they like living in a world with strict authority because they know where they stand and stuff. I was tempted to go that way but I didn't because um, it's not the best world to live in. That's the world like equilibrium before the rebellion. In other words, that's the world of equilibrium for most of the movie before the end of it where you assume that the resistance win but you don't necessarily know that the resistance win because the stupid Kurt Wimmer or whoever he is did not bother to make a sequel or write a book or anything he's like I said what I wanted to say so screw you guys I invented Gen Katas and only used them in one movie I mean yes there was that second movie with that woman who was always on the camera and who really didn't do anything except wave her hands about but um that 
I don't count that as gankatas. To me, that's more like um, tao, more like tai tao chi or tai tao kung fu, something like that. Yeah, that's more like tai tao kung fu or tai tao movement or something like that. You could say kung fu though, because you use it as a fighting style or tai tao gankata. That's what it'll be. Tai means the most intense form, and tao means flow. So I'm saying she had the most intense form of flow. She just flowed with everything that happened. Um, so yeah, Tai Tao Kung Fu is different from Tai Chi or Tai Chi Kung Fu because um, Tai Chi is about intensifying your personal energy and it really goes towards telekinesis and psychosomatic effects and stuff where you tap somebody or you transfer so much negative energy to them that you just reprogram their body on a intercellular level and it breaks down from within or that you can manipulate the, the water within their body to cause their bubbles to loosen or something. You know, in Psalms 20, Psalm 69, 23 talks about making people blind and their bubbles lose, their lines becoming weaker and weaker and stuff like that. So that's what Tai Chi is really about. It takes about 30 years of practicing Qigong before you can even start Tai Chi. So Tai Chi forms are not Tai Chi. Tai Chi forms are just movement forms. They're more towards a Kung Fu style, right? Um, so you can do like um, Tai Chi forms into Kung Fu very easily as compared to doing Tai Chi itself or Wing Chi Gong because Chi Gong takes years for you to really get it. You may get it in one if you're like chill like enough but you have to basically unlearn a lot of bad habits. You have to basically go through a repairman but instead of somebody beating you in the face you have to face your own challenges, you may have your own resistances to progress that you have to overcome, excuses for not practicing, stuff like that. So right now I'm doing something called Qigong 24-7 where you basically like sleep in the Qigong position, you wake up and you do Qigong, you walk in the Qigong way, etc. So um, that's interesting, that's interesting. Anyhow, um, it's almost time because of YouTube's silly limit. So I'm going to stop here because anyhow I'm straining my voice anyway to talk. So I just wanted to make a quick video. I wanted to also give a shout out to Dolo Shan and a shout out to Ai. Um, thank you very much my Japanese um, sisters for helping me so much to understand a little bit more about your culture, language and so on. I appreciate Dolo Shan's music. I miss Ai's dancing and I hope you, I hope Ai comes back on YouTube when she can or even better comes on my site. That my site is online soon enough. And Dola Chan, I look forward to hearing more of your music. And I'm learning to play the piano. Um, well, I have it set up. I haven't actually um, physically <laughs> played it yet since I set it up. But things have just been crazy. So um, hopefully we can do some stuff together, um, you know, in the future. So um, and that goes for all of my YouTube buddies and even people who don't know me. You know, I'm always welcome, open to collaboration. It's just time and energy have been limited. Time was... Um, I, I was managing it well, but there was so much coming at me. Um, I taped some of it, videotaped some of it, so you'll see it soon. There's a lot of good things that came out of it, but I'll talk about those in another video too. Right now, I'm just going to basically take a rest and let this transcode, which may take another two hours or whatever, while I basically rest and stuff. Alright, well, have a good day, have a good year. This is the 6th of March that I'm doing this on at 4 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. This is how much I love you guys. Wake out of bed at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and try to do a video. <laughs> I just had something to eat basically and then said I must give YouTube something. So there you go. Hope you appreciate it. Alright? So y'all stay safe and stay careful. Alright, bye. Blessings.